My husband and I did Dragon's Tears with Luhan on our honeymoon. We basically learned how important it is to cherish and look after our love for each other. Because true love is rare, and it is nice to have a friend and companion to love and grow old within body, mind, and soul. Luhan taught me to stock my intentions and ask myself what I am doing and why which showed me that even though I aspired to be an integrous person, I was actually playing a role. The role was an adaptive behavior with an attention and prestige-seeking, pleasing personality that was working for love, acceptance, safety, and survival. I was performing because I was abused as a child and was probably trying to avoid punishment. From my cloaked adult perspective, this wound was well remedied by my channeled strength and endurance to sustain this performance. But when I felt I failed to impress, I would feel shame, self-punishment, and a total loss of energy. For my healing journey to begin, it was this very issue that had to be pressed upon in the presence of Luhan. This was in 2015, and it has taken me till now to unravel this self-compromising personality and truly see and understand the illusion of our social construct and how the origin of sin comes into play. In 2019, I decided to step out of my job as an entertainer in the corporate industry, and when I returned home after 14 years of traveling, I felt extremely ill. With chronic pain and adrenal fatigue, I was forced to stop playing the game of giving away my power for a false sense of love and safety and my willingness to be led into dangerous and traumatic experiences to please others. At this time, I felt estranged from my friends, very sad and lost. What a banana. Luckily, Luhan's wisdom came calling when things got too serious. I decided to do an online group class I learned that chronic pain and illness can be a blessing because it forces one to let go of that which doesn't serve you. This happens out of necessity to survive. In the misery of my own lack of energy, Luhan's perspective on long-term illness was a beacon of light for me in acknowledging where I was at in this process and in finding my way out of the dark night of my soul. I started by cleaning my house, walking the dog up in the mountain of my life, and revisiting dragon's tears. The movement of energy that Loban Pai ignites helped me to come back into my body and embrace the innate intelligence and synergy of my body with these spiral energetics. I called upon the healing grace and protection of love. When I do dragon's tears, I imagine putting on my armor. I realized the folly of my perceived sense of control, how much energy it took to sustain, and slowly but surely learned to surrender to divine flow. I managed to wake up and reconnect to my center. I realized how important it is to transcend the grief inside me by deciding to stop falling into the bottomless pit of the existential sadness of mankind and being grateful for the opportunity to do so. When I do practice true communication with friends, I watch my breath and become aware of my hands. I listen way more and don't feel the constant need to perform. At this point, I feel my purpose is to share what I've learned from life, to give back to the earth and preserve the beautiful memory the skill and culture of humanity and hand that over to the next generation. I feel our slow and steady progress of mankind is meant to realize our true inheritance of the earth. I'm grateful to know the depth and spectrum of my feelings, emotions, and love in my heart. And Luhan has helped me to navigate these elements, to practice keeping in my center and finding my authentic sense of self on the altar of my perception. And now, when I find the stone of my folly flying back at me, I take the punch, find my center, 
and throw that stone back into the river of my life to be polished by the holy waters of life. With love, Lujin.